What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush HD and welcome to episode 28 of my FIFA 13 hybrid squad builder series and um, I just want to say sorry for not uploading this series much, I just really haven't um, thought of teams to build and stuff like that, I've been more um, motivated to do my uh, Road to Gold Around the World series and uh, the X player squad builder but I've got back into making some hybrid teams and the team I'm showcasing you today is a fairly nice silver team, um, hybrid as well so uh, let's get straight into the team so we're going to be playing the 3-4-1-2 formation and uh, it's probably one of my, it's like my second favourite um, formation with three players at the back I don't really like any of the other ones, mainly because they're a bit too attacking, but this one seems um, fairly reasonable as well. It seems to have a good balance between the um, attacking and defensive, but uh, let's get into some of the players. So in goal, we've got um, all the players in this um, team are silver, and uh, let's change the formation. I don't want to show any of my other players I've got in my other teams, um, but uh, in goal, we have Dida. Uh, the uh, legendary um, Brazilian keeper, he cost me 5,000 coins and um, he plays in the Liga do Brazil for Port Portuguesa and uh, he's got 75 diving, 68 reflexes, 70 handling and 88 positioning and uh, I decided to give him a go, I haven't actually used him, I didn't really know he was actually on the game to be honest um, but uh, I, I saw him, um, I can't remember when but uh, he looks like he had fairly decent stats so I tried him out and he was actually a fairly decent keeper um, his reflexes are slightly low but uh, the positioning really really does help moving on to the centre backs we've got another Brazilian player and that is Antonio Vieira and uh, he's the one who plays in the Russian league he cost me 6,300 coins and um, he's got 81 pace, 67 defending and 67 heading and uh, the main reason people pick him up is mainly because of his 81 pace uh, he's a really really nice pacey defender um, I believe there is no other alternative you could put in this team which is a player called Zilao and um, he is another centre back, uh, a Brazilian centre back in the Russian league as well I think he's got a bit lower pace but overall he's more of a uh, higher um, uh, total stat uh, number than this guy moving on to the second um, centre back we've got another Brazilian player and that is Juan uh, the player who plays for International Laze in the Serie A he cost me 4,700 coins and again he's got a fairly decent amount of pace as a centre back 73 pace 75 defending and 78 heading all round a pretty solid centre back and uh, moving on to the final centre back of this um, of the defence uh, we've got some fairly decent pacey centre backs in this team and we have Zuma uh, the French player, uh, he cost me 4,600 coins and um, he plays for Saint Etienne in the uh, Liga 1 and uh, he's got 73 pace, 75 defending and 78 heading so uh, that's the defence guys and we've got a fairly decent pacey defence here guys and uh, I, I feel like it works really really well and from probably you can tell now we've got a silver, Brazilian and French hybrid team so um, let's get on to the rest of the players in this pretty nice team. Moving on to the right mid, we have another Brazilian, and that is Kelvin for FC Porto, the, the five-star skiller. He cost me 23,000 coins, and uh, I really, really like playing with this guy, guys. I've used him on so many different teams. And um, he's got 84 pace, 84 dribbling, 65 shots, and 61 passing. Five-star skill moves, and uh, he's just a really, really nice player. He's got a decent amount of pace, uh, decent dribbling. Uh, sometimes when you find that um, players with, um, yeah, they do have five star skill moves and all the stuff like that, um, but they just don't have good enough dribbling. They, their touch seems to be horrible, but this guy, it seems to be fairly, fairly good. And I just really enjoy playing with him. Moving on to the left mid, we've got a French player, and that is Alisson Delaney. And um, he plays for Stade Lenes in the Liga 1. And again, He's a really, really nice left mid, and there's an informed version of him as well, if you have got the coins, but I do not, and um, he cost me 18,000 coins, uh, he's got 91 pace, 78 dribbling, 6-7 shot, and 71 passing, I've used him in one of my teams before, and I really, really like him, 4 star weak foot, and 4 star skill moves, I definitely recommend picking him up if you haven't already guys, um, he's just a really, really class left mid. Moving on to the centre mids, the first player we have in the middle is going to be Adelan. Um, he plays for Flamengo in the Liga do Brasil. He cost me 12,500 coins. And again, this guy is a really, really nice player. He's got 80 pace, 82 dribbling, 69 shot and 71 passing. 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. And um, I definitely recommend picking this guy up as well, guys. Uh, if you, he, he kind of got, um, he was one of those players that weren't really played with that much. Um, but uh, until Air Jakes, I think it was another um, FIFA YouTuber, um, he uh, got like kind of got him uh, open a bit more. Like uh, what's it called? 
kind of exposed him and uh, showed that he's actually a fairly class player and uh, he went up in price but now he's dropped quite a bit he used to be like 25k um, but uh, I definitely recommend picking him up I really really enjoy playing with him moving on to the final midfielder of this team we have another French player and that is Paul Pogba um, the player who plays for the Juventus Flench he cost me 6,700 coins and this guy I really really like playing with um, 72 pace, 79 dribbling, 63 shot and 77 passing. He's just one of those really solid centre mids. And like I said, he works quite well with um, the other centre mid because uh, I think Adrian is normally a um, centre attacking mid, whereas uh, Pogba is more of a CDM. So they kind of, one goes up more, one sits back. So it works quite well in this team. I definitely recommend um, trying this team out. I really, really do. Um, but uh, he's a really, really nice player. And there's also the, if you were to change this team up, you could go and pick up the gold version, the upgraded version, um, who, which is pretty good as well. Moving on to the attack force of the team, the first player we're going to have is another Brazilian player, and that is Ida. He plays for, Sa I think it's Sam um, Sampdoria in the Serie A, and uh, he cost me 3,200 coins, and um, he's got 81 pace, 79 dribbling, 71 shots, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skimmers, and he's another really, really nice centre forward. He's got pace, he's skillful as well, and he's got really, really nice shot in him. I definitely recommend trying him out as well, and he's a fairly cheap card compared to the rest of the Brasilvas. Moving on to the final players of the team, the strikers. The first player we're going to have is Berletto, um, the Udinese striker in the Serie A again. He cost me 3,400 coins, and um, he's one of those uh, players who, again, is, uh, sits back a bit more. He's not as attacking um, in terms of his pace. He's got 79 pace, 81 dribbling. 72 shot, uh, four star weak foot, four star skill moves, but uh, he's more, I feel like he plays a bit um, behind um, the next striker and it works really, really well, um, mainly because his pace does, um, is kind of slow compared to other strikers, but um, he's got a really, really nice shot on him as well. And moving on to the final player of the team, our sh second striker, and we have Leonardo. Um, he, I believe he's normally a centre forward and he's moved up to a can, that's why he costs a bit more, um, but he cost me 9,100 coins and um, He's got 87 pace, like I said, he's a bit faster than uh, Beleto. Uh, 75 dribbling and 66 shot and 62 heading. And uh, his stats may not make him look as good, but I think he's absolutely fantastic in the game. I really, really enjoy playing with him. And um, he's, he's probably one of those hidden gems, should I say. But guys, this has been the team. Overall, it cost me, it was quite an expensive team. It cost me just below 100,000 coins. It cost me around 97k, which uh, I definitely recommend picking this team up for the prize. It's, it, it is a bit expensive, but it's so much fun to play with this team. You've got skills and all the stuff like that. So you've got um, the fence. They've, they've, you've got really, really good keeper. I really, really recommend picking Dida up if you have not tried him. Uh, the defence, they've got a decent amount of pace. They've all got 70 above. And then the midfield, you've got you know, Kelvin with five-star skill moves. Adrian with four-star skill moves. Uh, Pogba's kind of low with three-star skill moves. Um, but then you have Alisson Deline with four-star skill moves. So you've got um, three decent, skillful players in the centre mid. And then moving on to the strikers, you've got Beleto with four-star skill moves. Ida with four-star skill moves. And then, um, uh, what's it called, Neando with three-star skill moves. So overall, this team is pretty skillful. It's got a decent amount of pace um, to uh, come up against those kind of pacey, boring teams. And it's just a really, really nice team. It's got 99 chemistry. And... Um, you could upgrade it in places, so there is, um, what's it called, there is an um, inform card if you've got the coins, but uh, I do not, and they go for quite a bit, Pogba, Alisson, Mini, they've both got inform cards, and um, I'm not sure, has Kelvin got one? I'm not quite, I don't think he has, but uh, overall this team is fairly nice, and I definitely recommend um, picking it up, if you've got any suggestions on any, if you've got any requests, any suggestions, anything, put that in the comments. And um, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more hybrid teams. This has been Chronic Rush Till next time. Adios!